So I may as well turn this into content. Um, I've decided to watch this full documentary on Chris Chan um, rather than like the down the rabbit hole video because uh, I figured that a full video would be better for me, a full documentary would be way better for me to watch and grasp the context of this one cursed person. In recent events, because he's trending and all that, I kind of figured, you know what, I want to see, I want to figure his, you know, what's up with his life. And, um, I already am, like, 12 minutes in this, I can't help but say already, holy shit, the parents had a rough life. He was born with a rough life. Childhood friend, not even a friend. School? Bro, my god, I'm not even allowed to say anything because the FBI will come to my house again. So... I don't know. I don't know what. Uh, I don't know what to say other than like his life is absolutely fucked up, and it's no surprise a fucked up person would come out from this type of life. And it's only like twelve minutes in. We, the fun parts were like the recent parts. The reason why he's in prison. The reason why people are cheering for his misery. Oh, we haven't. We have not reached that part yet. Nope. That's the fun part. It is genuinely the most cursed thing ever. And I'm here to watch it. Possibly in December 1992, but in other accounts, he stated that it was 1989. He came across the Leonard Bernstein Symphony Orchestra, a show comprised of animatronic characters. Actually, I should mention this now, but I hope you're not watching this video just to watch his documentary a second time because I'm going to probably interrupt him plenty of times just to say whatever I think. That's what I typically do and I somehow end up being frustrated at that. So maybe I'm just projecting, but hope you guys don't mind me citing my opinion. As much as it's legally possible for me without getting into trouble. So that, oh god, I saw a meme of like someone who drew Freddy Fazbear mispronouncing his name. Oh no. So that's why. Ah <laughs> oh, man, I should not be fine. That's funny. Oh great, middle school. That's like the worst part of my life. Is she? I did the same. Even I'm not that stupid. If like people ever ask me for money, I just don't. I'm just not friends with them. Actually, no. I should mention like back in middle school, there was like a bunch of people who came up to me and like in lunch. I don't remember how I made friends with them, but honestly, as far as I'm aware, they came up to me and just like like I was just having a bad day, so like because of my mom and I ordered like a bunch of food. I bought like a bunch of food at lunch. Spending all my lunch money um, buying random junk food, just a bunch of like goldfish crackers. They were just like, wow, you can eat that much? I was like, no, I'm just doing this to piss off my mother. You can have some if you want. And then they just sort of sticked around for the food. And then I just sort of like, I mean, they kind of stuck around and constantly picked out food for me. I was just like, yeah, it was fine. And like, I what was the one who said it was fine initially. But after a while, I just sort of noticed that they were just like, 
taking food from me. And it's like, yeah, I gave permission, but I just kept on feeling like they were just only there for the food. So I was like, yeah, I kind of hate you guys now. I think that was a wrong call and that was a wrong decision. But honestly, I, I, I regret it. I feel like that if it had turned out it was a friends with benefits thing, then I wouldn't have regretted it, but I don't know that. I think it would be better to take the L instead and just accept that, you know, like, I'd actually be friends with someone who was just using me for friends with benefits instead of having to live with the guilt that I may have just pissed off someone who was my genuine friend. Which is absolutely great, you can't win either way. That's just fun. I hate life. Yep, that's the fun part. Yep. Should I say this in the video or not? People who say they care about autistic people, they genuinely don't. They really don't. They're really just lying to seem like good people, to feel like they're good people, but they're really not. I'm. Let's just be honest, they really aren't. No one in the entire world who isn't autistic, who claims they like autistic people, I've never really met those kinds of people. Except for therapists, actually. Therapists. That's really about it. And some teachers. But honestly, most people on the internet, if you would fucking see them making a glory post about, you know, that kind of stuff, they I really don't. Just be aware of the ones who are super nice, who pretend they're nice. The good people are like the worst, now that I think about it. That should be the generalization anyway. Not being salty or anything, but that's just my life experience. Wow, that's... It was completely opposite for me. I got along with adults older than I am. Well, better than I would younger students. I got along with them worse. Honestly, I got along with everybody terribly, but I got along with adults better. People who are older than me, so uh, I get along with elderly people and... You know, old people more. But Patty. That is not the case with me. That's not how I lived. That's not how I lived. Because of the internet and the way it is, it's more it's really common for people to share everything about their lives. And I've also fallen for that trap too. The first thing they teach you in like internet safety is not to share your personal information, like at all. 
And I have no problem sharing personal information at all, to the point where it gets extremely fucking bothersome for other people. Not gonna fucking lie. But, um... They know which buttons get pushed, and... Um, I, I don't know what to say, really. Um, I still put up an act, I guess. I tend to obscure information by spitting out some false truths about me. In fact, I'm getting into the game where I'm pretending I'm a girl again. Because it's funny that people simp just because I have a pussy. You know, even though I don't. Why on earth did you trust a person on the internet to be a girl? But I'm digressing, but... Yeah, I'm not exactly the type of person who's like super, super... Mm. I'm not privacy. I don't care about privacy. The only problem I have, the only reason why we have privacy is because other people react badly to the truth and honesty and who people are as a person, as who they are. And I'm going to be perfectly honest, that's on everyone entirely. It is not, it's, it's, uh, it's privacy is a thing because it, we need to be safe from ourselves. Is what I'm trying to say. And of course I will be keeping certain things private like my living play where I live and you know my actual name. Stuff like that. But no honestly I really couldn't care less if I knew people wouldn't hurt me for who I am as a person because I want to do better. In all honesty I want to do better as a person. I want to grow as a person. And I fail at that. I definitely do. I'm a horrible person and there's nothing that's going to change that. I don't even apologize because I don't think I'm deserving of an apology. But seriously, I just, yeah, this is certainly different. Maybe I should not never have told anybody about who I am, but at the same time, that's just how human connections are formed. This kid, this man, got kicked so much as a child, didn't he? I still haven't even gotten to the rest of the parts, and this is just his childhood before the uh, fun parts hit. And his history is documented so much to the point where we know when every single second of his breath happens. But God, I don't know how the hell I didn't turn up like him. I mean, I'm still like him in some ways, but honestly, I'm still relatively different in the sense that, you know, I haven't done as many things as he has. I wasn't bullied too much, and there were, and there have been people who supported me, who were there for me. Maybe it's because I was born later than he was, and the world has sort of become more peaceful in the minimally short time, like, what, he was born in like 1980 something, I was born in 2002, so like, that's roughly 20 years. That's not a lot of time, that's like one lifetime, one generation. That's not much change. I'm not gonna lie. But I, sh I should stop talking. Over the course of four semesters, he studied Spanish, of which he has a very loose grasp. For class assignments, he adopted a Spanish name, Ricardo, a common practice for students in order to better get into character and the culture of the language. You can call me puta. <laughs> anyway. Alright, you know what? Time to admit some cringe. I did the same thing when I was a kid because I wanted to sit in the front, but that was for the problem soon so that way the bus driver could watch them. I got mad and threw a fit because I couldn't sit up front because I liked being up front. I didn't know that was okay. So I ended up <laughs> becoming such a problem student that I replaced the problem students on my school bus just because I wanted to sit up front. It was amazing. It was genuinely stupid. Uh, I don't remember full details because I was super young and now my memory is fuzzy because I'm 19 years old, about to be 20. I'm fading away from this world real fast. But yeah, that's what I did. I remember that memory. 
I can relate. Cringe, but... <laughs> Is there anyone else who can relate, please? Oh, damn. Oh, I thought he was on start. Oh, man, that's demoralizing. Has anyone ever been to Special Ed before? It's not, it's not, it's not a good place. It's, it's honestly just a containment center, in my opinion. And honestly, it's not even an opinion, it's literally the fucking fact. Like, peeps, there might be teachers who care, but honestly, within my experience, not a lot of fucking teachers care. They really don't give a shit. And my camera decided to stop working. Alright. But, being in special ed, it was never, it didn't feel like I belonged there anyway. Like, you think, you know, just because you're special doesn't mean you're uh, special and you belong with all the other special students. No, you're not, like, struggling to speak. You don't stutter a lot. You don't do arm flaps. I don't do arm flaps. I can tell you that right now. I don't do arm flaps. Um, but there are other students who did arm flaps and they reacted way more than I did. I'm high functioning, alright? I have Asperger's. It's... I managed to live a relatively normal life, but it was by my choice in all honesty that I don't that I didn't. It's by my fault. But other people who they tend to react more violently, more extremely to things. I was lucky I never had that. I was just depressed. Maybe it's because of my depression, so it might count as that, but Yeah, it's fucking sad. Somehow I managed to miss the huge abuse by like 20 years. I don't know if I'm lucky or not, and I still experience the abuse. Oh! Oh! I also had a lot of female people surrounding me. I didn't consider them friends, though. Oh, man. I, I don't know what to say. I had, I had a high school crush before. She was kind to me, but I never asked anyone out because I knew I didn't have a chance at all. Because she had friends who actually talked. I, I was not that person, and I felt like I was more of a person than she thought I looked like because she was kind. I was more than I was in her eyes, and I didn't really want to do that. And it wasn't, you know, because she had an interest in me. I'm pretty sure it's just because we were friends. Kind of. Just teammates in school. But, ugh. I do not like proposing to people because it's precisely the worst thing you can do. You admit that you have feelings for them, but you know they will never return it. it doesn't matter who they are, they just won't. You will never find that person. Well, I won't. I don't know about you guys. You guys can easily fucking find one because you guys are normal, but... <laughs> I do not believe I can ever find a person. Ever. Not in a million years. Not even in a billion or a trillion. Sarah Bevel was in the same chemistry class along with Kevin. 
Ellie and Chris. Sarah had a boyfriend at the time, and Chris watched them interact, hoping to experience that kind of relationship one day. It was fun to Same. watch them flirt with each other. I'd like to have a girlfriend too. But my autism and normal social phobias held me back then. Miranda Mitchell was the big brain in the circle of I don't think anything's holding me back from an actual relationship. I just don't trust anybody. Oh, dude. Oh, wow. What? I did not pay attention in history that much, not gonna lie. It was never that interesting. I ended up sleeping in it. it w it's important to learn history, but they never- none of the teachers made it important. None of the teachers made it engaging. Well... Restate my ass, motherfucker! Go suck a dick! I understand none of this. English, please. I'll even take Chinese or Japanese at this point. Necesitas tres muchacos mirar de puente. 
necesitas creas muy bien tu escribes creas sense y es muy logical. Checkes to escribir muy carefully. From the school report, it can be seen that he failed all but two of his 14 assignments, earning a D plus for the... What? No cards. One, two, fifty, fifty. Macbeth test. Macbeth. Intro. Computer lab. Computer lab. Twenty five. How much did he fail the computer lab? Sonnet test. Eighty six. Pride and prejudice. There's a class for pride and prejudice. When? <laughs> Um, I'm afraid that class didn't teach anyone in the old generation at all. Anything. Not gonna lie. At age 16, Chris wrote a poem entitled Song of Christian. Loosely based on Walt Whitman's Song of Myself. Almost a song of myself. Should I make one as like a joke? I feel like I have to. There isn't much to see anyway. The problems are yourself are not my problems. If you fuck up and you blame me for it, I will slaughter you like a fucking pig in a slaughterhouse. Let's make that clear. I'm not getting blamed for someone else's bullshit. <laughs> I just never talked after some point in my life now that I think about it, but it wasn't as long as I still talked a little. I wish I had that enthusiasm before. It'd be more of a personality than I do now. Not gonna lie. Should I try that? Nah. Huh. I also made my original characters before. I've made, to those who know me anyway, I've made like at least 200, only 888 that I've named so far and drawn. Maybe slightly more if I'm including side characters and all that and keeping consistent designs. But yeah, only 188 that matter. I've made way more. And I had the goal of this year, I like try and draw all of them. At least the 30 that I've had the design for. Like I can pro I can probably show you guys when I edit this video, but I've made a lot of characters in my life. Way too many. None of them are original characters. Not all of them are original characters. Most of them are original, but... They are my pleasure. They all represent something. Most of them I've made during my horny period of my life, which is teenage, middle school, high school, mainly high school. But, yeah. Creation is really a thing with autistic people, I feel. It's neat. I wonder why I don't even know. I feel like I could have been friends with him if we had actually personally left and I could have talked him out of doing stupid shit. Or maybe I would have been a bully. You know what? I probably would be a bully even if I'm autistic. There is no way I wouldn't have bullied him. He would- From what I'm hearing, he's like so fucking awkward. So... So easily bulliable. It's so- it'd be so easy for me to fall into that. I am not a saint. There is no way- if I were friends with him and understood with all the knowledge I did, I would be friends with him, but I I know that if I were a person back it when in his time I would not be. Even if I were special. I doubt it. That's the type of person I am anyway, which is why I'm a horrible person. 
Yeah, that's just why I don't really deserve apologies. This poor man. But I never really liked to make fan characters because I didn't want companies to sue me and I figured it'd be better to like actually make characters that are original because at this point at that point you're kind of creating your own thing. You're not really like um my first character was actually like like most of my characters um my very first character was an original stick figure um not really set in the universe literally that's just how it is but my first actual real deal taken seriously care oc was riku and um he was supposed to be a toho fan character and he went through several designs he was not a rabbit boy and um he I turned him into an original character because like after some point I was recreating I was just interpreting the world of Toho in my own thing and like interpreting the characters in my own way so they're not really the characters that Zoom created himself so at that point it's all me so why put it in the derivative of Toho it's my it's everything's mine and I think Zoom would be fine with that because you know it's he lets people create fan projects because he wants to see the creativity of other people, or so I've heard anyway. Can't really speak, but if I were- I can't speak as if I've heard him talk or I'm actually thinking as him, but that's what I've heard. And so that's why I write original characters rather than fan characters. It's more... I don't know. Better. That's a creative freedom. I've never heard of Bionic. Oh, another fan character. I thought they were talking about Bionicles from like Lego. Yeah, fucking, are you kidding me? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Ah, uh, man. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I hate English class. All right. Um, I'm gonna be like English class is for like t to test students' critical thinking, right? Oh, well, they don't do that. They, they don't teach it in a way that makes it coherent. We're like analyzing stories and we're just like, why do we need to know the meaning of these books? I'd rather have like some applicable purpose to like something we learn. In critical thinking, like, it's an important skill. A lot of people seem to fucking like it these days. A lot of people seem to have cheated in English class and completely think that they are smart, but they really aren't. They're really dumb. I'm passed with C and I somehow have better critical thinking than most fucking people. Not by the one- not the ones who actually have A's through hard work and understanding. Not through cheating and just looking it up on like... Fucking... I don't know what... We have like spark notes. Spark notes, I think it was called. You know, they just look at the means and they just think for someone else. And I was just like, I'm trying to understand the meaning of this. So I'm just like, yeah, but why is the meaning this? How do I know it's for sure? Because of language. But why does the language do that? It's not like I understand fully what's inside the author's mind. And like, I never, I didn't have the skills to communicate my issues with my understanding regarding like literature and texts and whatnot. And. It would have been fun if there was a teacher who managed to help me with that, but I also, it's also sort of my fault because I never tried to communicate my frustrations. And like, after like, 
several years after that, I finally get to communicate my concerns. And I want to try my best. Now I want to try harder at school. Because, well, if I were to go back in time, I'd want to try harder at school. Because now I know why we learn these things. And people, the teachers don't fucking teach you these things at all. They don't, te they don't tell you why it matters. They don't try to. Or rather, they can't even understand because it's not like I t ask them what my issues are. And it's why they constantly ask students any questions. And it's important for that. Well, of course, I really stopped doing that when I kept on asking teachers, Hey, why on earth do we have to learn fucking English? This seems pointless. And instead, and they couldn't even give me a fucking answer. Like in physics, my, my physics teacher in high school managed to give out a decent fucking answer. Like, like what student asked, like, why do we need to learn this? And he's like, well, in physics, you can go into like computer science and all these fields and, you know, but what if I don't want to? Then it's not really applicable, but you still have to pass it because of liberal arts and of course liberal arts is useful for like becoming a um polymath but in all honesty i'm getting into a huge fucking rant here already i need to stop but honestly i feel that frustration i wish a teacher could have told me what why i learned that stuff and really helped me understand how to do it actually write essays and how to process my thoughts because that's what English is also about besides critical thinking it's also communication like I feel that this is what the message you're communicating and it's supported by your diction your choice of words the symbolism you know how you, the how you abstractly represent things using the things you say and so on and so forth and no one fucking taught me that I passed all the fucking C. I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing. I tried my best. But people just cheated. And the P and all the students who were just are just like, oh, it doesn't, you know, it's like super subjective. I would like some objectivity on what you're doing exactly. But nah. Nah. I'm surprised I didn't get an F. I sometimes survive with a D. Actually, history is the only class I got an F in, and the school literally had to pull me out of that class because I was flunking it so badly. Around the same time, he made a series of stop motion videos of what is set in his Lego made town called Quickville based on his own initials. They were made with a Game Boy camera, which produced grainy, low resolution grades. That's, that's the thing I did as a kid. We just, like, my brother and I you just repeatedly pressed the photo button on, like, a camera thing, and then we just saw ourselves move on it. It certainly became multi billionaire, didn't it? Was spreading across North America with Chris keeping a keen eye on it. He began playing the trading card game and included illustrations of Pokemon characters in his Spanish homework. He also wrote a lengthy essay detailing how the Pokemon came into the Pokeballs, with which his teacher was very pleased. The year 1999 marked the birth of his wall of originals. This was a designated portion of the wall which displayed Pokemon trading cards that Chris made himself. It featured original Pokemon such as a female Pikachu called Chikachu, Chikachu. and Plotistic, a plant which is autistic. Chris was also a Plotistic. Dark Christian. I can't laugh. I can't laugh. I've done similar things with my original characters before. When I was a kid, I can't laugh. I can't laugh. I'm literally not allowed to write, laugh. I do not have the human right to. Because I literally did the same thing. It's harmless too. I can't. I can't. Oh no. Oh no. Mm. 
Monsters fight each other. Monsters fight each other and we use cards to determine everything. Instead of video games, we used cards. Back in my day. Yeah, I'm still old enough to have played card games. I have like a Yu-Gi-Oh deck still in my room. It's not my original deck though. Well, actually, no, I still have my original deck. No, I don't. Apple's Kiss. Well, originally for a few, they're interrupted by like, their parents. Huh. 18th birthday. My birthdays are lonely. I just get my parents to buy me cake and I just eat it with the rest of my family and like, not really on like a main thing. We just buy cake and whoever wants cake can cut it up and eat it. His birthday seems nice, but way better than mine. That's... that's a mood. What? 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 I... That just feels... Is that... What's that? I can't even... <sighs> oh boy, two years before I was born. Brilliant. 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 Yeah, it's simple. Frank Crosby. Oh god, I never did those. I didn't have those, but I didn't really like to give out my personal info to my school. Because it was so boring. I just spent time on the internet and I kept that private on lockdown. Especially because I was like super, uh, <laughs> let's say based when I was a kid. I literally did not give a shit. This generation is way too sensitive, not gonna lie, but it's way more peaceful. Well, not really. Math is easy. I can help you guys with calc, and trig is like the easiest thing ever. It's just triangles.
Dude, you are a slow in the mind too. That's what you got grouped in with them. That's what special ed means. People considered you slow in the mind. Which is why I'm got put in there too. <laughs> I used to make those when I was a kid, but I stopped after middle school. I never went to a dance at high school. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I do not care about graduation at all. Like, there were rewards, but I never, like, it's... How nervous did I put it? I was never this jealous. Because there are people who are way better at math at me, way better than... All stuff, but maybe it's because my... Like, I don't know what to say, but... My special obsession was becoming a polymath to learn everything. I think I've said this before, like in some posts and to some friends, to some therapists, to some teachers, to whatever. But I'd like to say it again. Simply because nobody's gonna be looking for it in the past and scour it through. But my first very dream was to become a superhero, and when I learned I couldn't do that, I figured I may as well learn everything and do everything that a superhero can, except more realistically. Learn how to be a doctor, a lawyer, help with everything and everything possible. And, well... I guess I can still do that, but... still feels so out of reach. You know? can't. I can't help but feel like I failed that. Even as an artist, like, I'm not that talented, right? Like, I can tell you that my art's good, right? But it's not the best out there. There are way more better artists who do way more quality art, who do way more art, good art, super fast. There are people who have the intuition. It's just, I wish I had that. I don't have that. I can't call myself good at all because, like, that's the level where I want to be. If I can't do that, then... 
I can't be a superhero, at least, at the level of one. Like, I thought I was good at math, right? I started, I started falling off in calculus. Then discrete mathematics came and... <laughs> Multivariable calculus wasn't that hard, but after it got to line integrals, I got so confused. I was considered a prodigy in math by my teachers and other students. I played Tetris in pre-calc, and I did problems while I was playing Tetris, and people were amazed by that. <laughs> yeah, this is where I am now. I, I don't even remember how to do, like, how to determine what importance a saddle has in a multivariable equation. I don't even know how to do, like, the hammer method to solve and, you know, like, part spot in, like, brute force integration and... I forgot all those. I don't even remember all the, like, integral stuff at all. I remember the rules, but not the integrals to, like, fun certain functions and all that. I've forgotten completely. So, like, I can look it up, but, yeah, it really doesn't stick with you. But let's not get sappy. Eventually, his mother and Lady Tiffany came to console him. His father would look back on this event with shame and anger for years to come. No. His at high school is still thought of fondly by him, recalling his sweet memories of creating artistic projects for class and frequently hanging out with his gal pals. All of which were abruptly ended with that gloomy, rainy graduation. But with the end of high school came the promise of a new world in college, a chance for new friends. I dropped out of college, man. And the first steps to a brighter future. I worked fast food instead, and I left that too. End of part one. That was depressing. Oh, I think I'll let the credits play out. And, um, guess that's all there is to it. Well, that was depressing. I have to edit this video now, but god. That's... This is just a start. Can't wait. Yay, I'll be making this in parts as well, but... So that way it's in digestible parts, but yeah, I'm gonna have to edit this video real quick and then upload it. See you guys then, anyway. And thank you for, so much for watching, and um, hopefully see you guys in the next video. If not, have a great rest of your wonderful lives.